In this tutorial, we will show you how to link a product that you already have in your OpenCart store and also listed on eBay. Then we will also show you how to edit some of the listing information directly from your OpenCart admin area. To create a new link, log into your OpenCart admin dashboard, navigate to extensions, and then choose OpenBay Pro, then go to eBay, and click on item links. Once here, you will see two headings on the page, unlinked items and linked items. We'll start off looking at the unlinked items. Unlinked items are items that are listed on eBay but are not yet linked to an item in your OpenCart store. It's important that all of your eBay items have a link to an item so that your inventory will be correct when an order is imported or an item sells on your OpenCart store. Load the unlinked items by clicking the Check Unlinked Items button and then wait for the items to load. To link an item, start typing the name of the product as it shows in your OpenCart store in the text field under the product column and the autocomplete will suggest a list of items in the drop-down underneath where you're typing. Product names do not need to be the same on OpenCart and eBay. Sellers use different titles on eBay to include keywords and brands. Once you have found the matching product, select it and click Save. If the stock listed on eBay is different from the stock in your OpenCart store, it will change the stock level on eBay to match OpenCart. Please note that if you have thousands of products on eBay, it may take some time for the unlinked items to show. It will usually load in batches of 5 to 50 unlinked items. If you have more unlinked items, the Check Unlinked Items button will show up once again and simply click it to check for more unlinked items. The Linked Items area allows you to see whether or not products you have linked are functioning correctly. Products which are linked OK are highlighted in green. Please note that you also have the option to edit each item here. If you have any products with errors, they will be highlighted in red to make it easier to see. There are a few types of errors that your product may have. For example, a stock error is where the product's stock levels do not match. This is usually caused by changing the stock in eBay directly as this does not update back in the store. Always change the stock levels in OpenCart, and then simply click the Resync button to update the eBay stock with the current OpenCart stock. Another possible error would be that the listing has ended. This happens when the listing has been ended on eBay, but the update has not been sent to OpenCart. In this case, simply click the Remove Link button, and if you've created a new listing, you will be able to refresh this page and create a new link as it should show in the Unlinked Items area. You may have thousands of links. Your products will be separated into pages, which you can easily navigate through using the Pagination options at the bottom of the page. When you click to a new page, it will get the latest information from eBay, such as the title and available stock. Now we will show you how to edit some of the eBay listing data directly from OpenCart. First, navigate to Extensions, and then choose Open Bay Pro and click Manage Items. Click on the green box next to an eBay product as this shows the product is linked. On this page, you can edit the basic information for your listing. You can change the title and price without needing to log into eBay and revise each item. The price here doesn't have to be the same as your open cart price as many sellers have a different price for products on each marketplace. The reserve level is useful for sellers who have selling restrictions on eBay. As a new seller, you can only list a small volume of stock. Using the reserve level allows you to have high volumes of stock in OpenCart, but low numbers on eBay while still maintaining the link. OpenBay Pro will continually maintain the reserve level until your actual stock drops below the real stock level in your OpenCart store. Thanks for watching our tutorial. Be sure to check out our other tutorials and subscribe to our channel. Have a great day.